Talk is cheap, but apparently texting is very, very expensive. In an article titled Sweet Deal, My Sugar Daddy Paid Me $2,000 a Month Just to Text Him, we focused on a woman named Bailey Hunter, who is going viral on a TikTok for talking about how she gets $2,000 a month from a sugar daddy only by texting. Not even for pictures, just to text. And on top of that, he had given me a credit card to use for anything I wanted. And our relationship went on for three years. Bailey worked at a Buffalo Wild Wings. She waited on this guy and he was with a young woman and she could tell right away that it was kind of like a sugar daddy, sugar baby situation. So after she finished waiting on him and his guest, he left her a hundred dollar tip on a $40 bill and he also left his business card. And he left before I could thank him for the tip. So I just texted him and I was like, hey, thank you so much for that tip. That was really nice of you. You did not have to do that. And he was like, no, you're amazing. You deserved it. And he was like, when do you work next? I want to come back in. This TikTok has been viewed more than 7 million times. I'm sure that hundreds and thousands of women who are interested in being sugar babies want to know how this is possible. The unwritten rule of being a sugar baby is that things are often going to get physical. And so the fact that Bailey was able to get $2,000 a month without engaging in any sexual activity is very rare. It's really hard to go on any social media now, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I've even seen it on Clubhouse where women are leaving their Venmo, their Cash App, their Zelle handles and basically saying like, if you want to talk to me, it's going to cost you and making it very clear and very known that these men need to pay up or shut up because these women are not going to talk to them. So when I moved out, I kind of gave him to one of my friends and he started taking care of her. And I'm like, I want to find that again. So I get on seeking arrangement, looking for that similar type of arrangement, realizing I had a unicorn. And most sugar daddies want more than just to text, if you know what I mean. This guy had messaged me on Venmo and it was public too, which made me look super slutty. I had some friends who were like, yo, why is this guy messaging you on Venmo talking about he wants to send you money? They're like, Danica, what have you been doing? We thought you bought your house with your own money. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is terrible. I'm not gonna lie, the journalist in me was kind of intrigued, not because I really wanted to have a sugar daddy, but because I thought it was a scam. And I was like, this can't be real. Nobody's really gonna send you money just based off of your pictures. So so this must be a scam. So we exchanged some kind of information that got us on WhatsApp. And I was talking to him to kind of figure out what is the scam? Like, when are you gonna ask me for my social security number, for my birthday, and for a small drop of blood? And he like never did. He was just like, I just wanna send you money. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't need the money. I really appreciate the gesture, that's very nice. If you are indeed real, please find another woman who needs your money more than I do because I'm okay. And I still think about him because you know, <laughs> I'm like a little extra cash would be nice.